What's going on, everybody? It's Afro Think Tank. So when you travel around Nigeria, what you do is you go to like, if, what you do is you go to like a, a park, right? You go to like a, you go to like a, a driving park, right? And every driving park, they'll take you to like a different, like a different place. They'll take you to like, like, like for instance, let me show you. Like you get and they got, they use like minivans and stuff like that. They use minivans cars whatever it's like a park you come here and wherever you go in nigeria from lagos they'll take you right and you can buy food and do things like that you hop into it you hop into like one of these cabs you come here they care you they'll, they'll take you where you gotta go they'll pack your bags they do all that stuff so you'll come to a place like this very chaotic but it's controlled they this place is operated by these by these people very smooth it looks chaotic looks loud but everybody knows what they're doing so you ain't gotta worry about nothing so you get inside you get inside one of these now they not they may not be the most comfortable and then this is for the people who want to travel like the normal folk like a van like this they packing it boy we're doing it like the mexicans all right we're going to do it like the mexicans straight up right you go back here they're, they're, they're gonna wrap look they're gonna they're gonna wrap they're gonna put your, your stuff is gonna go in the back even if they put your stuff in the back it may look like it's hanging off the back of the car but it didn't trust me it ain't going nowhere straight up they will pack it securely they'll get you where you want to go and it's pretty cheap right now if you want to be bougie you can pay for two seats that way you can have space for you you know two seats per person so if you got enough money you pay for two seats per person so you can be more comfortable on your way on your way to wherever you're going right but you know if you just like whatever i'm cool man if if, if, if it's like whatever you just pay regular price and stuff like that why are you out here people gonna be trying to sell you stuff they got things you got food out here you got all sorts of trinkets you can buy people will come to you and approach you and try to sell you if you don't want anything don't be rude just be like you know just like just either ignore them but don't be rude don't be an asshole ignore them. just kind of like nah, no just be really nice and say you know no no nah, nah, nah. they'll go away because this is what they do they make their living like that so when people come to you and trying to sell you something that's how they make their living so you can't be thinking that they're being a pest that's this is the this is the the, the economy all right people out here hustle they make their own money because like the government ain't doing it right y'all know how it is Right? These people thrive and do things. These people thrive and do things without the help of the government. Imagine what they could do if they had some assistance from the government. That'd be insane, bro. Like, like it'd be next level. But they still making it work right now. You know, what they got, right? So just know, if you want to travel like the people, like normal people, like the day-to-day -day people, like the everyday average person, you come to the park. You know, you just wait for a ride. You wait. You get, come out here. They got scheduled. They actually have an organization, so it's like they, they're organized, they have a union, they create what you call a union. So all that stuff in America, listen, here, everything's using, a, un, everybody's union. They make their own unions, they make their own groups, they pay their dues, and they use that to empower themselves to buy more equipment, to do whatever they need to do, seeing how they don't have help. So here, so unionizing and, and things like that is an African thing. It's a black African thing. Unions are black African thing. All right, that's our thing. There's a way the collective people who don't have a lot of money uh, leverage themselves against more powerful people that have money, okay? So just keep that in mind. That's all I got to say for now, guys. I'm about to get on the road and travel. It's Afro Think Tank. Learn something, teach something. I'm out.